everybody. I'm going to give you a quick tour since I cleaned up today in here and it's so much better. I'm at the door and there's definitely more space this way. But what I did was, because this is my craft room, office, Sadie's room, um, but it was just, there was so much stuff, way too much really. So anyway, we cleaned in the closet. So I pared down Sadie's stuff which you can see here, that cart. And then I got a couple of her things over there. And then I have my keepsake boxes and other things. And there's all my papers that I use for journal making. And I put hamster stuff up here, plus there's photos. And then in here are a bunch of other totes. The things that I use for um, the, um, what do you call it? Journal making or some of it's in here. So like this is tin is full of Christmas ribbon type stuff and there's doilies and there's cloth and there's my tote bags. There's a tote that holds all my journals that I've completed and just a bunch of other things miscellaneous. And so let's go this way and then back here near the door my husband's filing cabinet and his files, but then I moved one of my totes over here. And Sadie's light bright is here too, but I keep different art pads and pens in here and my nature journal, my Christmas journal that I made. I have all my extra traveler's notebook inserts and such in here. Um, I just put, this is what I, a journal I'd want to do for Sadie, so I put that in here, and there's nothing there, so I can fill that up. Um, the bookshelf, this didn't really change. I use these for making junk journals over here. The rest are my nature books, and just, I got some space, so I can put some stuff around. There's all my buttons and charms. Uh, my craft desk didn't change too much. Um, there's some Christmas stuff and lace boxes up there and <clears throat> books for journaling and otherwise. And that is, okay, there's where I do my recording and my work. And that is my jerry-rigged system <coughs> for recording. So I put my phone on here. So I, I want my husband to try and make something for me. Um, yeah, my pans and scissors and traveler's notebooks and a few other supplies and books. And then I have two carts. This is my mixed media cart here. Let me see if I can roll this away and you can see mixed media for the most part and some bags. And then this other roller cart that's in front of it has um, some inserts I'm in process mostly art journaling ones, uh, my nature traveler's notebook. This is, I think, a personal or might be bigger. Um, I want to sell it. So if anybody's interested, let me know. It's a Foxy Fix. So it's leather. Um, no pockets. Very plain. Um, that has photos in it. And this tray, I've got room to put more stuff in. My punches and clips and things and the jars. This was the tiered rainbow cart I got. And I filled that up with my journaling supplies. So let me see if I can show you. This just has some bags and kind of miscellaneous stuff. This has scrapbook paper. This has my botanical images I use for journaling cards and some nature stickers. These are some craft envelopes and cards. This is just some more miscellaneous bags and cards and things. Uh, journaling cards, Rolodex cards, uh, a few other miscellaneous, but mostly that. Envelopes, a lot of craft ones in here. This has doilies and 
uh, reinforcers and tag things like button cards and tags and index cards. <clears throat> this has envelopes and stationery, and these are cards as well. Oops. Oops, something's not cooperating. in the way I'm going to have to fix that. Anyway, and then some other miscellaneous stuff I want to, you, you know, for journaling. Special special things I don't really know where to put. Now I can't get my card in. I need to use my hand over here and try and flatten down whatever is in the way. <laughs> um, oh yeah, then you can see my, my mini project boxes. Oh, I see what happened. Something just pulled up and Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Our printer. Um, here's my project boxes. So there's Christmas and, well, there's a million things. But they're all for the journals, making journals. And there's my stamps, my rubber stamps, the nature ones, all the other ones. Um, that's just some personal stuff. Here's the sewing machine and my bulletin board, kind of like a vision board, I guess. Yeah, so that's it. Okay, now I'm going to just turn this off so I can get it put up here and then I can do my journaling for you. All right. Okay, I've definitely got to get this uh, recording situation set up better because it's terrible. <laughs> It's really awful. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed <clears throat> that little tour. And I want to get on with getting, let's see, because I think I did Thursday, Wednesday last. So I want to do Thursday and Friday today. Um, before I do that, I got a happy mail from my friend Mona. Mona, thank you so much. You are wonderful just wonderful. I want to show you guys this. Is not he the most darling owl you have ever seen? Oh my gosh. He's so cute. Mona just blessed me with all these wonderful owl things. Oh my gosh, I love him. A little corduroy tummy and corduroy feet and nose and then, I mean, just cute. It couldn't be cuter. I love him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to have him sitting here on my desk where I can see him all the time. So let's just look at these things. This is really cool. Um, there's a note. Ah. She's so sweet. Oh my gosh. Oh, isn't that cute? Mona, what a smart idea for a card. It's beautiful. That goes in my journal. I think think this is so cool oh my gosh look at these beautiful Christmas things oh my goodness oh. <laughs> oh my goodness these are so cute and this is adorable I'll be saving these for my next Christmas for my Christmas journal of course this is a clever idea. These are like photo sleeves, right? I have photo sleeves. Onto a piece of paper. Like, look at this. It's really gorgeous. So let's see what these are. Oh my gosh. That's super cute. Oh, this is so cute can't wait to use these next year. Oh my goodness. These are adorable. Oh my gosh. Look at that. You are so sweet, Mona. I wasn't expecting this. What a lovely, lovely happy meal. Okay, so that. And then she sent me a bag tag. I have one of these and I keep it on my church tote bag with the picture of Sadie and me. 
so now I'm going to put this one on my bag I take to work because that needs more decoration. <laughs> so, oh my gosh. These are the cutest tags ever, you guys. They're just so cute. You just put them on a purse or a tote bag, whatever, you know, you want to use them on. And they're just adorable. It's like, what a super cute idea. So yeah, I will definitely be finding a picture for here and putting that on my purse. Thank you. I love this thing. I just love it. Okay, then um, what else do we have here? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And look at the blue paper. Oh man, I love this so much. Thank you. I think I'm going to put this in my purse. Oh my goodness, I love it. So, things for my purse. <laughs> and look at these. Oh, they are adorable. Owls. And oh my goodness, more owls. These are so cute. Maybe I'll continue putting owls in 2019 on my journal because I can totally use these and stamp them on on my pages. Mona, thank you so much. You are just a sweetheart. Totally. Thank you. The other thing I got today, I ordered, I ordered them off of Amazon, but I ordered um, replacement strings for my teens because some of them are just getting worn very much because I use them a lot. So these are to take care of that and replace them. So I will put these with my stash of TN stuff supplies that I have. I guess I should put these in there too because I still got a couple of these leather clips. Um, but yeah, just hopefully these will be work. For me, I'm hoping. Um, otherwise, let's see what else is going on here. Um, I don't think anything else. I wanted to show you the Christmas cards I got. Oh gosh, what's this? Hmm. Oh, I finished that. Okay, I'm just kind of looking at my stuff here. Got a lot of stuff. Oh, it's so good to have this place organized, you guys. My journal for next year for my daily creative journaling that I do like this is going to be this A5 that my daughter made for me. And I am going to, isn't that cute? I'm going to um, use this for, so I'm going to try A5s this year. Um, I think it's going to work out good. I'm kind of excited about that. I also got some cute Christmas cards. I want to put this in my journal. Uh, my daughter made this one. Look at this. Isn't this cute? And look inside. She made me an origami star and decorated it. So sweet. So sweet. I love it. It's going in my Christmas journal. <clears throat> so that goes somewhere else as well. Then, um, this was the one I gave to my husband. Isn't it cute? It's so cute. I always save cards. And this is the one he gave me. And look at, it had cute mittens inside. So sweet. Oh my gosh. So cute. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys those. I thought you might like to see them. All right, and I did not finish this. I'm just, I'm just not going to finish it. <laughs> I did get pretty far. I got through the 20th. I did this, but I didn't decorate. And I did wrote on the 22nd. I did the 23rd. I wrote on the 24th. I didn't write on the 25th. Actually, I didn't even have a day. A 25. 
is really weird. Oh, that's the 25. Duh. Anyway, I'm afraid I was bad and didn't finish that. And I also finished this journal. So that's going to go into my journal stuff. I did. It's just writing. It's decorating. It's all decorating and stamping and painting. And then I just wrote on top of it. So that's just thoughts. Mostly about family, I think, for the most part in here. And I think I wrote, yeah, December Daily. So these will get into my journaling box with my journals that are completed when I put this one in. So, as you can see, I don't have much space left. And I've got 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Not much space. Fortunately, I don't have a lot to put in either. So I'm going to go ahead. Um, and Thursday, a uh, very quiet day at work again. And um, my husband actually took me to work because I was afraid it was going to be icy. Um, and, oh, he took me anyway. He was going to take me anyway. But it rained all day all day long it rained here can you believe it it's just crazy weather just insane so it rained and then at night it um, turned to snow Gary brought me a gingerbread latte from Starbucks and then Doug picked me up and then he, we hit up some poke stops on the way home which was nice and we had a weird supper, hot dogs and mashed potatoes. What can I say? Um, we watched Hoarders, we watched Wheel of Fortune, we watched some Star Trek Next Generation, and read, I read before bed. But um, we've been watching a little bit of Hoarders, and I, I, was wa I said I'm watching it because I, today was the day I cleaned up everything, and um, I wanted to, like get motivated <laughs> to clean so I said I'm gonna watch hoarders so that I am motivated to clean my house because it needs cleaning uh, I should always stamp these things before I put them in so stamp that guy and then let's stamp this one here I don't have too many more. Okay, and then I think I'll put the Starbucks thing here. So, they it's so nice. They made these thinner, which for some reason means they peel. This corrugated peels off. Boy, I tell you, I feel like I haven't been journaling at all, like doing videos for you guys very much because it's just, it's been busy. I mean, it just has been busy. It's been crazy. And Christmas, you know, it's just busy at Christmas and you just don't, oops, have the opportunity to do as much as you would like to. That's kind of how it is, right? Okay, and then this one, I think I'm going to cut off the bottom so it'll fit that direction. Um, so that was my... Thursday. Friday we had some snow and the temperatures plummeted. And I did have my husband take me to work because I was afraid it was going to be icy. And I ended up having to go to work early. He went to the airport to see somebody off at 4.30, and then he got home and he took me to work, so I got to work at 6.30. So that was an hour and a half before I started work, but I, I was fine. I did some printing, I watched some videos, I investigated the one word thing and worked on that, and I want to show that to you. Um, I will show that to you in a bit, but um, there is a quiz on, um, I think it was Illustrated, Dayspring had a quiz where you pick to determine what your word is. And my word is courage. 
And so I thought it would be fun to, and then they have like a, like a goal getter worksheet thing. So I printed a couple of those out with your word. So that's at dayspring.com if you are looking for that. And I'm just going to cut that out because I want to put that word in my journal. And really the whole idea of one little word, um, I think it's Allie Edwards that does that, is you use it to just, you know, meditate on and think about. And I know she does prompt. You can buy her thing to do prompts for your word. But I'm just going to use this as my word throughout the year. Um, I think it's, it's going to be good. All right, so there's really not a whole lot I can put on this page. I don't have a lot to put on this page, but I do have some. So I do kind of want to, maybe I should just put this down so I can lift it up and read it with some washi. How about that? And then I've got this Gerardelli candy wrapper. I'm going to try and trim it so it doesn't take up so much space. I have that. And then because we had Subway. So anyway, my husband dropped me off early. I had time to do stuff, so that was good. I did stuff. Um, I wanna do some. And work was a little bit busier with the phone, which I was kind of surprised. But I ended up reading a lot too, because there was not a ton to do. I'm going to put this down here. And my husband, um, so he did his ice slush cleanup at work and then he came and he brought me Subway. We got a foot, we split a foot long Subway for lunch. So that was good. Let's see. Um, And then he came back and picked me up. Um, oh gosh, come on, Terry. Picked me up after work. I got off at three, because it was a Friday. And he was so nice, he took me all over for poke stops. So I got to go like, um, like he went all over, in fact, we drove around for an hour and a half for me to get all these tons of poke stops, which is so nice of him. And um, and then we ended up down where we get our groceries. So we got gas and groceries, and then we came home, and we had meat and cheese and crackers for supper, and we just watched. Um, some TV. I watched a movie on TV from Netflix called um, 2036 Unknown Origin. It was very interesting actually, surprisingly. And um, watched some more hoarders when we were eating supper, I think. And I stayed up till 11, watched some TV. So yeah, that was kind of our, our day. So I'm going to put that like that. And then um, I do have this from the subway, but since I wanted to use it, just one piece, I'm going to go ahead and cut off a piece. Not very well either, huh? <laughs> keep all these papers, these deli papers for any other time. So this goes in my 10 steered rainbow cart, or 10 tiered rainbow cart. Um, this actually goes in the extra deli papers so that if I don't get something for some of these restaurants, I at least have plenty, a stash, you know, that I can use. So what I wanna do, is I'm just going to take my glue and just go like this. 
Hey, is anybody going to go see the Mary Poppins movie? The Mary Poppins Returns. Um, my daughter and Sadie and I are going to go see it on New Year's Day in the morning. It's going to be wonderful. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see it. We see it at the Marcus Theaters and we go Tuesday because you only have to pay $5. And they're all recliner seats, but the ones we paid for were for heated recliner seats. <laughs> Plus you get a free small popcorn. And I've got $5 reward money at the concession stand, so I'll probably get something to drink with that. So that's always fun. Um, okay, so then I did want to put this beautiful card in. I'm getting this cramp, you guys, in my upper leg, which is like the worst place ever to get a cramp. But nothing I can do about it. Okay, so I want to put this down with some of the washi just to kind of decorate the area because that was that beautiful card and such a lovely message. Actually, I need to do it as a tip-in. Somebody gave me those. I'm sorry, and whoever you are, I cannot remember because it's been a while and I had that stashed with my Christmas stuff so I didn't realize that it wasn't, I thought it was all Christmas washi and it wasn't Christmas washi at all. So yeah, that's what I did. This is so darn cute. Oh my gosh. I think I'll just do it like this. She is, Mona is so sweet, seriously. Just the sweetest person. All right, I think, yeah, I'm gonna ask my husband if he can come up with some other way for me to fix this recording situation. Cause I've got a tote full of stuff, little bits and pieces of things, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little, bo 16 little boxes in this clear case with stuff for journaling and I can't use it because I'd have to like take everything down because of how I got this set up. So I'm going to see if he can come up with a better thing for me because this is really terrible. I, mean, I should be able to have something a little better than that. And because this is a corner desk and it's in the corner, there's no way for me to do a regular... Um, tripod. So I am kind of stuck, unfortunately. Which is too bad. Okay, isn't that just so cute? Oh my gosh, I love it. So let me cut this off. So I told you a little bit of today's um, just because I was doing all that sorting. You guys, I took out, you know those copy boxes that hold paper? Um, they're like big. Filled two of those with papers and stuff from both mine and Sadie's stuff that I needed to get rid of. And um, a whole big garbage bag of garbage. A whole bunch of like decorative tins that I emptied and just because of that cart, I was able to do so much. The cart was a wonderful birthday, a Christmas present for my daughter and her family. And then, um, just tons of stuff. Tons of stuff, which we took to Goodwill today. It's just crazy. Okay, so, just to reshow, Thursday, Friday, that's Friday, and a little bit of today. And then I'll do more, of course, probably tomorrow. Yeah, and it's almost done, and I'll be doing the flip through. Can you believe how quickly it's going? So I've been thinking about next year in YouTube videos. And on my faith channel, I want to do a flip of the new Bible I got in the journal. And also the, t the faith 
Traveler's Notebooks and Bibles that I use, used. Uh, my plans for 2019 with YouTube and maybe a flip of my three journaling Bibles. You know, those are some ideas for January. And then uh, my journal channel, this one, I want to show you what I'm going to use for 2019. Um, finishing December 2019. I want to make uh, my January journal, which I'm making out of this paper that my friend Galena decorated up for me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use this to make January plus. It's gonna be more than January, I think. Um, so that's a project, and uh, I'm gonna I did the craft room tour. And then I gotta make two winter nature journals, which I have the stuff for, I just, I gotta do it. And my sister's birthday journal I need to do. So that's kind of my plans. And um, I think it's gonna be great. I'm really looking forward to doing this. And thanks for watching today. And I've got a bunch of stuff I need to put away. So I kinda, <coughs> excuse me trying to figure things out. Also with the new journals, I need to get my clips like into my 2019 journals, but I wanted to get my 2019 journals ready before I transferred the clips over there. Just love this new one, it's so cute. And I have yet to do this. Oh, this I forgot, this also. I've got a charm that I need to put on one of my traveler's notebooks when I restring it. And look at this cute coffee clip Mona gave me. She's the one who gave me my coffee journal. That's this one. So I kind of want this clip in here, actually. And what else in my room? <laughs> and I got this cute little owl, and I would like to put him on one of my notebooks as well. So this cute owl charm. I'll tell you what, they make sure that nobody's gonna steal these, right? It's not coming off. Okay, but he would be cute on a traveler's notebook. He's adorable. So that's what he's for. And I just got a bunch of things to put away. Like I've got, there's charms fastened on here, so I wanna take those off and so cute. Oh my gosh. And then I have this one that you guys know is a locket that I want to put on here and wear it as a chain because it is amazing. Look at that. It's just amazing. So what I have to do is figure out how I'm gonna string it on here because anyway, that's something, oops, I have not worked on yet. Just, I just haven't, what can I say? Anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'm excited about 2019. Um, I am busy, <clears throat> but this month, but uh, the rest of this month, but I know there's still a lot of stuff I can do. So I'm excited about getting some things done. And yeah, I think it's gonna be um, a good end of the year and a good year for sure. So keep watching. Thanks so much for um, subscribing to my channel and watching. And for those of you who comment, you know, on almost all my videos, I really appreciate it. It's just, um, it really is a blessing, you guys. I think you know that. <clears throat> but I like to say it because it is very much a blessing to me. So, thank you so much. And, yeah. Hopefully I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, bye.